Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Jack with Sioux Falls Dent Repair. Just wanted to kind of show you a little bit of what I'm going to be working on today here. Doing a 2020 Ram right rear door that I'm actually working on. Hey, what's up there, Gene? Um, and actually you had to take, uh, actually I want to give a shout out to Gene now that I actually have him on here. That's good. Um, I actually had to use the Altel Bypass uh, Auto, I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. But anyways, the Bypass in order to do a pre-scan on this truck. So I'm going to go into a video about that later. But I wanted to give a shout out. Oh, all right. Well, hey, <laughs> all right. Well, anyways, tell him I said hi. So, and, and hello. Anyway, so um, um, basically touching on basically what I'm going to be working on here today. So it's a... Um, into, uh, right rear door on this Ram pickup here. We actually had to take it all apart and I'm going to show you what it looks like here. So this is a dent that was caught. I don't recall exactly how it is. I believe the customer just came out and saw it. But he's got some pretty significant damage in the door of his new Ram pickup. Well, he had a dent warranty purchased through a local uh, um, manufacturer dealer um, that he was under the impression that they were going to go about and fix all this damage uh, and it's all included under the dent warranty. Well, one thing definitely when doing any type of contract or anything like that, you always want to make sure you're reading it because in his uh, dent warranty company or the, the contract, I should say, actually has it stated that it doesn't cover any dents above four inches. Well, I don't even have to measure this out and show you, but you can tell that that's bigger than four inches overall combined total damage. So. You see it's got a wave along the handle there, as well as below the handle. And they even had one of their techs actually try to fix it, which, man, I didn't even need to put a light on there. That looks horrible. Um, but anyways, so I'm going to go about and actually fix all this damage. But in order to do that, I actually have to pull the door panel off, obviously, or the door off. But I actually have to pull the door panel off. So you can see where they did in a previous attempt, where they... Put some scratches on the back side. They didn't even code anything. They just left it all bare metal. So this is an area that's actually potentially going to rust in the future. So luckily they, uh, um, the customer brought it to me. And I believe they went through this hole here. So this is the front wire loom hole um, that they went on ahead and tried to reach in with the tool. But anyways, so in order to take this big opening panel off here, this is called the carrier plate. This is what looks like this is what it looks like once the door panel is removed so this big plate is what is in the door frame and I could have done a video before but it is what it is anyways in order to take this panel out as you can see the latch mechanism is connected to it so I have to take the latch mechanism off the window track is connected right here so the window has to come out as well as this is the exterior door handle so obviously it doesn't look like a door handle, but all the outside uh, handle part actually slips into here. So on top of that, I had to actually go down to the tool store, or rather the auto parts, and pick up a specialized skinny Torx bit so I can go through the little hole in the door and take that one bolt loose in order to take the handle off. So that was kind of a pain in the butt, but it is what it is. So as you can see, this is all interlinked together, and this can't be pulled apart. Now, now that it's apart, I could pry these tabs open and take this door handle assembly off of here that's just kind of floating as of now just because it's loose but I'd still have the cable and everything ran so anyway so that's kind of uh I just want to touch on a little bit of what we're working on today here obviously there's a lot of labor just to get to the point of being able to fix this damage um, and we had to take quite a bit of stuff apart like I said the glass had to come out the latch assembly the entire door handle assembly um, as well as some other interior trim pieces um, or exterior trim pieces like the belt molding here as well so anyways uh, if you've got any kind of dents or dings in your vehicle and you'd like to get a see about getting a free uh, no obligations estimate feel free to go ahead and give us a call uh, you can also message us um, directly on Instagram here, um, our handles on all of all of the social media platforms. Direct phone number 605-595-4061. We'd be happy to chat with you about any types of dent repairs that you need done. And uh, also, you can visit our website at SiouxFallsDentRepair.com, and you'll get a uh, you'll get to see all sorts of uh, videos and stuff about me doing dent repair. So, anyways, uh, hopefully everybody has a good day out there. Enjoy the uh, the good weather out there, and uh, have a good day, everyone. See ya.